Here's what happens when you fall through the sky at 17,000 miles per hour. This is the Soyuz capsule that brought Tim Peake home, its skin burned and torn apart by the Earth's atmosphere. Today, unveiled at the Science Museum in London, the British astronaut was reunited with his spacecraft. So it's like since I landed in Kazakhstan, this is the first time I've seen it. On the same day, the European Space Agency announced that he'd be getting another flight into space. So what does he want to do on his next mission? There's always new science going on. That's the great thing about the space station, is it's constantly evolving. The first mission was a, a wonderful success, and uh, the, the view from planet Earth is the one thing that is just always so awe-inspiring to see. So I would just continue to take lots of photos and to try and get as many people engaged in the mission as possible. It's hard to tell, but it feels like a lot of water. Tim Peake spent seven months aboard the International Space Station. Last June, he and crewmates Yuri Malinchenko and Tim Kopra scorched through the skies above Kazakhstan in their Soyuz capsule as they returned home. The capsule absorbed the ravages of their hair-raising ride. It's not clear when he'll go on his next mission, but when he does, the space around Tim Peake could be a very different place. NASA is pushing forward with human spaceflight, but Donald Trump's administration has left its future unclear for now. While China's space agenda is shrouded in secrecy, they're on course to launch a permanent space station. And private companies including SpaceX, Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic want to send rockets and people to Earth orbit and beyond. For Britain's first ever astronaut, Helen Sharman, Tim Peake's Soyuz capsule is an important tool in maintaining the UK's ambitions in space. I mean, this spacecraft is part of British history and it's also actually the inspiration for British future. So we can see the importance of science, technology, engineering and maths to enable exciting things like a space flight. And I think that really inspires people when they come and see that. It's tangible. For Tim Peake, the tangible reality is that he'll get to experience the feeling of being cramped up inside another Soyuz capsule not too far in the future. Alok Jha, News at 10.